the dead of centuries that had gone before. Their crushing weight turned into a tidal wave. It hit us, and only one of us survived. What did you learn? Regina, nice to meet you. Um, you are from Germany, came here to the festival, and you have your special own collection, as we can see here. We go deeper in some seconds. How did you get your inspiration, and what is your favorite material? So I started the collection really thinking about a flower bouquet that you buy for yourself, or maybe somebody bought it for you. You put it on your kitchen table, and then it just takes three or two or three days until the first leaves start falling. And after a week, it's entirely gone. So this really made me think about time, how, pass, how fast time passes and how precious the given moment is. And I asked myself, can I stop time somehow in my collection? Can I create a time capsule that um, just captures this very short and brief moment? Okay. And which, uh, with what material do you prefer to work? Well, my, I worked a lot with silicone in my collection because um, I pressed and dried flowers. Let me show it to you. Okay, I, I we have to see. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so you, if you like, explain and I... Uh, sure. So I, I pressed and dried flowers and immersed them into silicone. And this silicone really gave me the possibility to create this, um, this frame that I wanted for my collection. Then I started uh, working also with embroidery. We will make it later correctly. Okay, okay perfect. <laughs> Then I continued working with flowers as a symbol for these things that pass so fast and uh, I embroidered these pearls on the fabric directly and I think it's about 600 hours that went into this jacket so when you turn it around you will see <laughs> Wow! You, you will see that uh, it's embroidered all over and all of this is hand embroidery so I put each and every pearl on the fabric directly. That means you worked uh, five years on that collection about? It was about half a year wow. and then I um, worked on my collection which was my graduate collection at the basis again for a year and I improved some pieces and uh, remade some others. Deepest respect. Uh, uh, I have no words, I have no words. Ooh, yeah, please show it in the camera. So, together with my friend Cecilia, who also came here to the festival. Um, Just a second, Cecilia, please come in. Yes. She's, she's really my hero. <laughs> she's really my hero because for the last nights we were sitting at the hotel with these very thin bead needles and we just embroidered and embroidered and um, it was a never ending story but we made it in the end so the piece is finished. Can we say uh, you didn't know the word sleep? Yeah, sleep was... Uh, we, we didn't sleep that much for the past <laughs> days, that's for sure. <laughs> So, I'm really deeply impressed, thank you very much. Um, before I uh, finish the interview, I have to go to this fantastic shoe, sorry. It's absolutely a need to, to show it. Sorry, please, do it. Can you turn it, yeah, yeah. I, I, I make it uh, before the black, because yeah. yellow and gold, yeah, is, yeah. you don't see it. Can you please explain what these kind of special shoes so for the shoes I also imagine Excuse me, could, could you have yeah, sure. So uh, for the shoes I used um, vintage boots and then I poured silicon that I mixed with, um, with glitter over it and I really wanted it to give this melting look. So uh, all the boots, they really root the girls in the ground and um, that, that was important for me also this gro grounding the, the looks in some ways. I have no words. <laughs> Fantastic idea. It looks, li it looks a bit liquid, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> so it does look liquid, but um, in fact, silicon dries after only two to three minutes. So um, it was a process, and in the process, at some point, it hardened. And then I had to stop the process. For my first boots, I touched them way too much, and then I had fingerprints, and it didn't work. But I figured it out for, for my whole collection. I can just say, I press my thumbs for you. Good luck for it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, see you on the final. And uh, yeah, maybe you are the winner. And uh, I think uh, one last tip when it's finished, go to sleep for relaxing again. Now it's super, a super collection. I'm really impressed. Thank you very much for the interview. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The people were rushing towards us with the dead of centuries that had gone before. Their crushing weight turned into a tidal wave. It hit us, and only one of us survived. Magical beliefs of the primitives. What did you learn about? At first, I could see myself clearly as if I was standing in front of a mirror. What did you learn about? Rituals, cults, magical beliefs of the primitives. What did you learn about? No one can kill an idea. Ideas have wings. Yeah.